Yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. There's a very interesting story that has been captured by nation. A story I want us to have a look at for it's going to form the basis of our analysis. Daily Nation, they used me. Grandmother claims she's become a nuisance as her powerful friends no longer pick her calls. I was used to illustrate how poor people will benefit from the root of government through bottom up but after they won the election, I was not even invited to Kasarani for the inauguration. I spent the whole day crying at home. People were laughing at me. On June 4th, 2022, exactly a year ago, Mama Mboga mingled freely with Uda and Kenya Kwanza Honches, including its presidential ticket flag bearers, William Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa at the Bomas of Kenya. Pauline Waithira Aka Mamamboga was the duo's bottom-up poster girl as they presented their papers to the IEBC before the elections, which they later won. Now Miss Waithira, 70, is a bitter woman. She accuses politicians of using her, then abandoning her, and claims she's become the village laughing stock. So Miss Waidira, 70 years, has become the laughing stock of the village. Yes, she's being laughed at because she was used by William Ruto and now down. She was just used to illustrate on how Ruto's government was going to work with the hustlers. But upon William Ruto being declared the winner, they abandoned and forgotten about Miss Waidira. I hope Kenyans can still remember this lady here. Yes, that one. That's when William Ruto was presenting his papers to IBC. And the lady was very comfortable at that time being lied to on how she was going to be part of William Ruto's government. She's now waking up to the reality that Ruto does not care about Mamamboga or Boda Boda. Ruto was just using her for his own personal gains political gains. And I just don't know what's wrong with Kenyans because even before the election, there was a lady in Machakos. This one was selling Maindi and Boga, Mama Boga, in Machakos. William Ruto met this lady at his current residence and they held some talks which William Ruto promised some things to the lady. Later, the lady came out crying that all the promises William Ruto had made to her were never kept. That was before the election of August 2022. That was a signal enough to let Kenyans know that Trudeau was not serious about hustlers. He was just using them for his own personal and political gains. Sometimes I think Kenyans are slow learners. They don't read in between the lines. It was very clear even before the election that Trudeau was not serious about the so-called hustlers. In this video, I want us to dig deep into this story in which I'll explain what this means politically and what it portends for William Ruto's team. 
Before we do that, as usual, here let me remind those who don't know that we have a medical appeal for Nudin Salash. For some days now, we've been raising funds to enable Nudin undergo a kidney transplant at Medihill Hospital, Parklands. You can contribute any amount you have, whether 150 bob, 1,000, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, you are free to contribute any amount willingly. Send all your contributions to 0722 735 065. Let's help Nudin undergo a kidney transplant. Back to our analysis. Let's proceed. Yes. So Mama Mboga is crying that she was used and dumped. And she has become a laughing stock of her village. Her village mates <laughs> are laughing at her. That should be a lesson to hustlers. And I'm saying that because even as I talk right now, William Ruto and his team are still cheating and lying to the hustlers. The Finance Bill 2023 is a bill that is going to oppress hustlers badly. William Ruto has twisted the story to appear as if through the bill, the hustlers are going to get jobs. That's what is going around the country saying that those who don't who are not supporting the bill don't want the hustlers to get jobs. That's a very big lie. The bill is just going to add additional taxes. So the hustlers will actually lose their jobs. They'll not get jobs. Because very many companies will lay off their employees because of the increased cost of production. And some companies will actually migrate to other countries. Some will have to reduce the salaries of hustlers in order to accommodate the 3% that the employers are also to be deducted. So generally the cost of production is going to go up. Life is going to be, or right, the cost of living will go up. Hustlers, instead of getting jobs, as Ruto is promising, a whooping majority across the country will lose their jobs. So Ruto should not cheat the hustlers, or the hustlers should not allow William Ruto lie to them that they are going to get jobs. They are, or they will, lose their jobs. That's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. So hustlers must be very keen and very careful on that. And also from this Mama Boga now complaining, I just don't understand which narrative, I just don't know which narrative William Ruto will use maybe in the event of an election. Because he successfully used that hustlers narrative which has been proved as a lie. In the next election, or rather in the event of an ele another election, Ruto will find it very hard doing his campaigns. Because already, the majority Kenyans who are hustlers are now seeing him as a liar. Somebody promising heaven, but not even delivering the skies. And also we've been listening and seeing Kenyans, especially those who voted for William Ruto, complain that William Ruto lied to them. We have seen the mountain complain. We have seen even in College in Rift Valley complain. So basically across the country, Kenyans are not satisfied with William Ruto's rule. And I won't be wrong to conclude that as time goes by, William Ruto is getting more and more unpopular amongst Kenyans.
He has just failed to deliver. This is why I believe he was not ready to form a government. He was not ready to rule. Now that he has the government, he is totally confused. Let me stop there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's meet in our next analysis. But before I go, make sure you send your contributions to 0722 735 065 to enable Nudin undergo a kidney transplant. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya. <laughs>